we have learned the classification of acids and bases based on extent of dissociation in their aqueous solution. Strong and weak acids and bases dissociate to different extent, smaller to larger in different proportions in aqueous solutions. Pure water also dissociates to a smaller extent to give H plus and OH minus ions in equal proportions. Scientist Sorensen introduced new scale to measure H plus ion concentration and it is called pH scale that is power or strength of hydrogen. By using the scale we can classify the substances into acidic, basic or neutral category. By using pH paper or universal indicators or pH meter we can measure pH of any aqueous solution. Color change helps us to measure pH of a solution. pH paper or universal indicator show red to orange to yellow color change to indicate acidic nature of solution and values ranging between 1 to 7. Acidity decreases from 1 to 7. Value 7 indicates that solution is neutral and shows green color. Light blue or dark blue color range indicates basic nature of a solution. It ranges between 7 to 14 and in increasing order. We require test tubes, test tube stand, dropper, white glazer tile, pH paper, universal indicator and distilled water. We also need dilute hydrochloric acid, solution of dilute sodium hydroxide, dilute acetic acid, lemon juice and dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. Procedure A. In this experiment, we will observe the color change of pH paper when it comes in contact with different substances. We can note down pH for each substance. We do this procedure by using pH paper. First, we place six clean and dry test tubes in a test tube stand. We took each solution in one test tube each. We place a small piece of pH paper on a glazed tile. We place one or two drops of a solution from the first test tube on the pH paper with the help of dropper. Then we compare the color produced on pH paper and the colors in chart on the pH paper packet. We determine the pH of solution from the color produced on the pH paper and noted it. We repeated the same procedure for each of the given solutions and noted the pH of each of the solutions in the observation table. Procedure B. In this experiment, we will add universal indicator in different substances and note down the pH. We now use the universal indicator. We place 6 clean and dry test tubes in test tube stand. We took 10 milliliter of each solution in one test tube each. We put 2 2 drops of universal indicator in each test tubes with dropper. We observe the color change in solution in each test tube. We compared the colors with the color shade on universal indicator bottle. From this, we determine the pH of each solution and noted them in this observation table.